In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the WordPress read more tag. Wow, doesn't this video sound exciting? Uh, there's a reason why I'm doing this video. Um, basically, a few weeks ago, in fact, it could be a couple of months now, I created a website. It was just a simple blog website using the 2015 theme off the top of my head. It was an affiliate um, site. Uh, I don't know if you saw that video. If you didn't, I'll put a card up now, up there somewhere. Do click it and you'll be able to watch that video. Uh, it's, it's quite a long one though, so make sure you've got a bit of time. But anyway, let me get to the point. In this video and on this site, um, the homepage is basically made up of blog posts. And by default, it shows the whole post. So if you've got lovely long blog posts, which I'm sure you have, because I always recommend that you write blog posts that are a thousand words long, uh, your homepage can look a little bit messy. Once you've had you know, four or five posts, it becomes very, very long. So what we're gonna do today is using that read more tag, we're gonna tidy it all up. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. I hope you're all well. Thanks for watching. So yeah, as I said, what we're gonna be doing is using the read more tag, which is a little bit of a tag. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. It's a little tag that you add in your content and basically allows you to create kind of little snippets of your blog post so that when people are looking at your blog page or on your home page or your category pages, that kind of thing, they don't see the whole post. They just see, you know, a little bit. This post is about blah, 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 blah and then a little read more link, and then you click on the blog post. Does that make sense? It will all make sense once we get on and do it. So uh, without any more chit chat from me and looking at my face, let's get on the computer and I'll show you what I'm on about. Okay, so here we are over at rapidweightlosstools.com, which as I said in the introduction, is a website that I created in a previous tutorial. So if you'd like a website just like this, then do check out that tutorial. You'll find the link in the description of this video. It's an affiliate site, it's really easy to set up. It doesn't cost any money, well, apart from your hosting. But anyway, enough of that. What we're here to do today is tidy up the homepage um, and indeed the blog page. Although this site doesn't really have a blog page because it is a blog. Um, but you get me, if you had a website with a blog page, it would it would affect that as well. But what I wanna do is, uh, as we can see, this is one of the articles here, and this is the homepage we're looking at, and if we scroll down, we can see that it's showing the entire article, which makes it quite uh, long, makes the homepage quite long. It means people have to scroll quite a lot to get through the content uh, and kind of see what content we've got on here. So what I wanna do is reduce it so that on the homepage, all we see is this first bit here, and then underneath, there's a little kind of uh, continue reading uh, link and people can click then and then go and read the entire article. I think it makes more sense. A lot of blogs have it that way. And, and that's what I wanna do. Uh, it's very easy. We're just gonna simply press a button once we've edited the post and um, we will need to do it to, you know, on every post. I'm only gonna show you one for this example, but you know, I'd have to do it to every post that we've done. But it's worth just keeping in mind when you're creating content and adding content to your site that you do this and then you, know, you don't have to worry about going <laughs> going back to do it retrospectively. Anyway, I'm waffling and this video doesn't need to be that long, so <laughs> let's get on with it. I'm gonna edit this post. And I'm gonna find the spot where I want uh, the kind of post to cut off, which is below this, um, this first paragraph. I'm just gonna do a little enter there. And then I'm just gonna click this button. This insert read more tag. Pretty straightforward. If you can't see that button, oh no, you will be able to see that button. I was just gonna you know, say maybe you need to press this button, which kind of gives you some extra buttons, but you don't need to. It's there all the time. Perfect. So uh, yeah, give it a click. It adds this kind of more line. And if we look on the text editor, it adds this little tag. Uh, and then let's click update. And that should be it. It's really as simple as that. So let's go and have a look at the site. Oh, there we go. So now we've got this lovely continue reading. If we go and click that, it then shows us the um, the article in full. And you can't see obviously the tag when you're looking at the content. So that's all working as it should be. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, as someone once said. But anyway, that's it. There we go, that looks better, doesn't it? Well, I hope it does. I hope your uh, site is now looking a bit better and you've tied it up using the read more tag. If you did get stuck or if you've got any further questions, then please leave them in the comments below. I do love to hear from you guys. And yeah, I try and reply to as many as I possibly can. So yeah, be good to hear from you. Leave a comment. 
If you're not already subscribed, then do click on the little eagle up there and click the bell to be notified when I upload, which is generally once a week, sometimes twice a week, sometimes even three times a week. I know, it's amazing. And talking of videos, there's another one, um, especially for you. So I hope you enjoy it. Until next time, bye for now.